Hey everyone, first of all, thank you for watching this and supporting us. My name is Susanna Pinedo from Infinity Studios and I'm glad to present for you this new creation and do it yourself for Moonty's brand. So first of all, start to drawing the head and do the quiet proportions of the statue that we're going to do. To set clear that everything is okay according to the gravity that we'll work on and also the body proportions. Draw the flames as you like and do the flow like you like to. I just decided to do two flames going forward and upward. I've just added the details I wanted on the base, so keep them in mind when I was working on the clay. Some things are a bit different from the sketch to the, the sculpture, but that's quite normal, I suppose. So first what you want to do is to pick some aluminium foil, cut it apart and just wrap it out to make your basic shape for the body. Have your sketch image on the reference. I used two combined bodies because I wanted to just take off the lower part and have the dress um, not fully fulfilled, I may say. Have some attention of the inner center of the piece so make sure that when you go and cover it with clay they'll not fall out or not be just side by side. I pick a cotton and cut it and this will give me the form so I can do the arm and support the flame that would be defying gravity. So you can use whatever you like to do this step. Wrap the flame on the figure. Make some studies first. Because sometimes we have an amazing idea in our heads, but on the real life, well, it can be quite complicated. I just made some experiences here. See how the body goes, see how the flow of the figure goes. Do the same process for the other petals that you may have. And place it on position. So you see that kind of a plastic arm will give that support that I need to that leaf. And again, make sure that your figure is not falling apart, is not just going left or right. It needs to be placed on center. When you're happy with the form, just take a piece of clay and start to cover it out. Don't make it too much pressure because you may just change the form of your aluminium foil because it's very sensitive. And fill it out.
In this step, make sure you join all your clay pieces so when it dries don't have that kind of cracks. And the most important step on here is to put together the flame with the body and make them a flowing form so there is no any cuts and they still have the sustainable for fixing the flame and don't let it fall and break all the figure out. Starting contouring the Make notice that it's a very thin foil, so you have to be careful and make a very thin also parts of clay to cover up, not uh, big pieces, but pieces by pieces, and then go and join together as at the same time that we are putting on the place. Help it with your finger and your tools that you like to, and repeat the process till the very end. Since this process is very much the same, just do whatever you want to and add the forms that you like to. Make sure everything is neat, blend it all the edges so that don't fall apart and took your liberty doing your sketch and yeah, make the fireflies. And that's it, that's all fire sculpture. I hope you like this tutorial, give her a thumbs up to continue doing projects, make subscribe to see the following steps, next video is about painting our fire sculpture and stay tuned for more videos, thank you!